Good evening Sydney Jew Fishers. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Abs. I'm here to show you how to snell and how to set up your Jewfish rig. Alright, there's a couple of people who don't know how to snell and how to set up their rig, so I just thought I'd make a short video just to show you guys how I do my setups. Some guys might do it differently. Just a quick video. Alright, let's get this started. Set up this camera. Alright, like I said, some people use different things. I'm here using 80 pound black magic leader today. It's not fluorocarbon. Some people prefer fluorocarbon, but with me, it doesn't really matter. Chasing jewels, 80 pound just depends on uh, the terrain you're fishing and um, if there's any structure around or anything like that. So, I'll start off by getting about just over a meter's length of leader and I'll do that because when I tie a couple of hooks onto this it'll shorten my leader a bit so I've got two preferred hooks that I like to use Gamagatsu Octopus Circle 8 and the Gamagatsu Octopus 10 which is the J's like I said just depends on what bait you're using and yeah Alright, I'll use a couple of these circles on this rig that I'm going to do. Show you how to stand up. So you start off with the first hook. Okay. Run your line directly down the eye of the hook. Just so the line is sitting in line with that bend of the bottom bend of the hook. Put two fingers to hold that line down. And I start winding underneath that eye of the hook wind down as neat as you can about 12 to 13 times is my preferred wind down as you can see nice and neat there grab the other end of the leader that you've cut off and feed it right back up the hook the eye of the hook so first you go down the hook down the eye of the hook when you start now you're coming back up like I said, everybody's got their own way of doing it. This is how I do it, and it's never failed me. Alright, you got to put some tension, test it out. Then you start with your second hook. Depending on how big your live bait is, is how far apart you want your hooks, or your dead baits, I should say. Alright, second hook, come to the bottom of the eye. From the back side of your leader. And you line them up to exactly how long your bait's going to be or how you want it sitting. And you lock it in with your two fingers at the top here. Okay, so I'll grab the bottom of it with these two fingers just so it doesn't move, doesn't slide up or down. And the same process by working down just underneath the eye of the hook. Just start wrapping it very neatly and start working down 12 to 13 times like I said. Okay, didn't really count, but just a rough video. All right, same thing. Just work it back through the bottom of the eye of the hook. Give it a nice pull. Make sure you test it. It's very important so it doesn't come loose. Always have to trust your knots. Okay, so that's a simple snell. My way of snelling. Okay. My preferred swivel that I like to use is just a barrel swivel. Grab one out of here. Just one of these little barrel swivels, something that's rated to carry a bit of weight because you never know what you're going to hook. You might hook that monster and it might bust you off. So, my preferred knot to use is my uni knot. So, I just feed it right through that swivel. Hold the line parallel to the main line of the leader. And what I like to do is I like to put two fingers there. So hold two fingers and wrap the tag line around the two fingers and back parallel with the main line and the loop that you've wrapped around your two fingers. So that's the loop, that's the tag and that's the main line. And you just start wrapping from the inside. 
four to five times. Pull it. Make sure you put some saliva just so it doesn't break. Doesn't put any phrase in your line or anything that's going to weaken it. Cut the tag end off that and cut the tag end off the bottom of your snail. Not too close so your knots don't come undone. That my friends is my way of a snail. Alright? And sink is just very on uh, conditions and where you're fishing, for example, if you're, if you're fishing the beach, I'd like to go with a pyramid sinker so it just digs straight into the sand. And uh, weight just depends on the, the swell, the wind. Rivers, I like to run either something like that, something like that, very simple. Personal preference, depends on the conditions again. Thank you very much, tight lines.